Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. I got a tip earlier today. Ebony is secretly tightening the screws on us even more. So as if taking away our favorite discount platform, Aptoid, which by the way does still work, go to one of the friendly discords and find out all about it. They have clamped down on stamina secretly without telling us. Now, first I'm gonna try and ascend the new general because that's still the best stamina pack around. I wanna make sure it works. So every event, usually, I think it's once a month actually because the guy does back-to-back -back events, you can get a new general. And if you get him up to level three, he pops and he pops a stamina pack level by level three. I mean, uh, three stars. So I will try to, le I will level him not try. I have the experience, uh, packs. So let me level him up. If I could find him, are these all level ones? Yeah. So where is this guy? Let's find him. He should be here. He's actually cool looking, but there he is. Jeffrey of Bullion. And let's level him up a little bit with some experience. That might be enough. Come to three stars. One, two, three. Did we pop a pack? We did. And is it still a good stamina pack? 90. This is still the best stamina pack going. Okay, so if you use a triple coupon on this, you get 270 stamina. That's 27,000. That's enough for a week for most people or more or longer. Um, lots of people are probably laughing and saying, yeah, I'm going to use a triple coupon on a $5 pack. Okay, bud. Well, this is, you could also get this with a $100 pack, 40. So th really the best source of stamina is to just full cake and you'd use double coupons. You'd get 80 and you'd do it 10 times. So you know, that's 8,000. That's 800 versus 270. You're going to get more, but you're going to get better value in that pack for $5. Now, what did they do to clamp down? Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. So 10 out of 10 for Shahar, right? If you put her on, if, you sp if I spin one time, She's gone. I can't use her anymore. Now this guy, and I, I recommend actually, say you're going to spin daily. These two with the 10 spins and the 20 spins, one or two, really, realistically, uh, they're actually better value than going to these ones. But look at this. Isabella is now out of 100. 100 out of 100. It used to be unlimited. A 50% chance to get that. And... I saw pictures earlier today. I'm going to pause this video right now and I'm going to look. Maybe my server is not part of this yet, but there's some servers after you do 100, he's out as well. Let's pause the video and look for that photo. Here's the photo. I found it. 90 out of 100 for both Isabella and Johnny Portugal. However, the player did say after they spun 100, the visual changed to unlimited again. So let's try that right now. Let's check uh, as Isabella in here and make her the main. And let's spin a little bit and see what happens. So that was 100 spins, actually. So she says 100 again. What if I do 10 spins? Maybe 100 is screwing with the system. So there she is, 90. And yeah. So can I do 100 again and screw with it? So the thing here is that she's supposed to replace the double the or the whatever regular objects with a times two. So now I spun 100 and she goes back to unlimited. Okay, so something weird is happening there. Let's spin 10 here for Johnny Portugal. And he still says unlimited. And then we'll spin a max, the 100, and then we'll spin a one and see what happens. So we spun one, of course we got that. Unlimited still, okay. So something screwy is happening. Is it just a visual? Is it something that's not implemented yet? If, if this is uh, on certain servers that some people get unlimited, some don't, that sucks. And maybe I should just spin all 8 million of my chances right now. 
you may look at that and be like, you're crazy, you're a hoarder. But the reason I'm saving it is because I actually think that the rewards for the most part aren't that good. And I'm hoping they'll one day add like tactic scrolls or treasure scrolls or sieve scrolls, upgrade the prizes. So that's kind of why I'm holding on to them. Plus I'm just lazy and hate doing it. But let me know if you've noticed this on your server. I have, I would not be surprised if Ebony is trying to tighten the screws again. Because they seem to think that, you know, let's uh, let's harm the resource sellers and who cares what it does to our regular players. Or pretend we're doing it to harm the resource sellers when we're actually doing it to squeeze our regular players and get more money out of them. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.